Hey guys, welcome back to another Render Clip Tuesdays. This time we are going to take a look at the Fresnel effect. So the Fresnel effect describes the change of reflectiveness of material depending on the view direction. So if I look at the material from a steep angle like here, um, we will get weaker reflections because more light is absorbed by the material. And as soon as we get a more flat angle, we will receive more stronger reflections. So this is most prominent with cylindrical objects or um, round objects. So here in the center, we will have a um, view direction of basically 90 degrees. We will have really weak reflections in comparison to those uh, really strong reflections when we have a view direction of almost 180 degrees. So here on the corners we will get much more um, strong reflections, sharper reflections than we will get here in the center. The same thing is true with um, ground reflections. So here um, the reflections that are closer to us will be much weaker because we have a steeper angle of incidence and here closer to the object itself um, and further away from us we will receive more strong reflections. So this effect is described here. So today I will show you how to recreate this effect in Keyshot. So now we are here in Keyshot and I have picked this scene because it has a lot of cylindrical round objects that will show this effect really well. So what I want to achieve is I want to break up these hard reflections that are happening with the reflections that are facing the camera. Um, so this is a little bit unrealistic. I don't want to have such strong reflections here, but I still want to have those highlights that are happening on the side of these um, objects. So same thing is true with these black um, caps. So I don't want to have these really hard uh, reflections here, but I still want to keep the highlights on the left and the right side. So to do this, we are going to um, use the material graph. And if you haven't used the material graph yet, I can recommend the material graph Monday series by Will Gibbons. I have a link down below. So double click here onto this glass material and go to the material graph icon over here. This will open up the material graph window and we want to position it in a way that we still can see our material here. So this is our material which is connected to the surface node of the um, object itself. And now we want to add a texture. So right click into a empty area, go to textures and go down to color gradient. Double click the color gradient and go to this icon over here, which is the preview color. You can also click C on the keyboard. So now you can see this linear um, gradient, which is appearing on our surface. What we want to change is the gradient type. So scroll down here to gradient type and change it from planar to view direction. This gives us a gradient depending on the direction of the surface. So the surfaces that are facing us or the camera are white or brighter and the surfaces that are facing away from us will be black. And this we can now use for as an input for our roughness setting. So to do this, right click into an empty area again and go down to utilities, color to number. Move this in the center and connect the output from the color gradient to the input of the color to number and connect the output of the color to number to this plus icon on the glass material. Now we can choose the roughness setting. So this is now connected to the roughness setting of the material. And in order to preview um, the effect, just uncheck the preview color icon. And this gives us the final result of the material. Now you can see it's much too rough. So we want to change the roughness. And this is why we have the color to number. The color to number node is interpreting the color information from the color gradient to a number output, which is used by the roughness setting. So double click on the color to number and you can see an input from input to and output from and output to. So the input is the color, um, which is black or white. So zero would be black and white would be one. And now we can change the roughness setting, which corresponds to the brightness of the color map. So the output from would be the sides where we just saw the black areas. And this is perfectly fine with the zero because I want to have it most glossy. So this is, um, I'll just keep the zero here. 
but the output too I will change because right now here in the center it's much too rough. Uh, I, I still want to have it glossy but not too much, so let's change it to 0 0.05. And as you can see here, this is giving us the perfect result. It's breaking up the um, the hard edges of the reflections, but still keeps the reflection. So it's a reflective material, but it has much more realism to it. So this setting now we can add to each and every material in our scene to add this bit of realism to it. Double click onto this black plastic material of this cap and we'll do it once more. So open the material graph again. Here we can see the paint material that's applied right click, go to textures, color gradient, double click on that one and I'll move this down so I can see the material, change the gradient type from planar to view direction and we can also preview this quickly in order to check if everything's working. Right click into the empty area, go to utilities, color to number and connect those nodes. So connect the color to number to this, the roughness input of the paint, and uncheck the preview to see the final result. And now the only thing that's left to do is change the output to a lower uh, number. So here in, I want to, the maximum roughness to be 0 0.1. So again, this roughens up the edges of the reflections here, but still keeps the sharp um, highlights on the edges. So this effect you can add to all the materials in your scene to give a little bit more realism to your render. So this is how you add a Fresnel effect onto materials in Keyshot. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, comment down below, like and subscribe for more videos every week. Also follow my Instagram link down below to get updates and previews of future videos and other design related content. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and until next time.